really depends on what regulation comes into effect at that time. If, if we look at the Canada US system, uh, the regulations would be subject to renewal or change every 30 days. And it was typically on the 21st day of each month. So we would, we would look at what those regulations were at that time and then determine whether we fit within them or we did not. And so we would guide our travel, our cross-border travel accordingly. Now, once in the United States, uh, there are really no restrictions. Um, there's no um, there's no restriction on travel from state to state or what have you. Uh, generally speaking, there were some quarantine restrictions depending on what state uh, you were entering into, for example, New York or Connecticut. But there are other states such as Florida, Arizona, Texas, and, and, many, and a host of other states that had zero restrictions. So once we're in the United States, then we have completely free travel. We generally do not go to the main airports. Uh, we're at, in less congested areas and the free flow of, of um, travel and goods and services and what is, it's very uh, easy. Speaking of different airports, uh, what type of airports can you land at? And is it still possible with a small private jet to go to one of the really big airports? Well, one with a big enough runway. <laughs> uh, the beauty of the United States is that they have a very broad network of secondary airports with generous runway lengths. Uh, my aircraft needs a minimum runway of about 52, 5,500 feet. How difficult uh, is that to find? In the United States, not very difficult. In Canada, it is difficult. So we're quite restricted on where we go. There is no um, prohibition against flying into large international uh, or state airports. Uh, usually the landing fees and what we call the FBO fees, fixed based operator, where you actually go in and, and park your jet or get fuel or what have you, the, 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 the operator that services your aircraft the fees typically are higher at larger airports as well as usually the gas prices as well. So it, it, we, we usually choose where we go depending on what the cost to be there is.